Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 64 for Wednesday, September 23rd, 2015. Speaking the language. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Braintree. If you're working on a mobile app and searching for the right payments API, check out the Braintree V.0 SDK. With one simple integration, you get every way to pay. To learn more and to try out the sandbox, go to braintreepayments.com slash arena. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. I hope you guys are ready, ready to get smart, because today is all about flexing your brain. Whether you want to use your spare time slowly internalizing a new language or you just want to sit down and focus on lesson after lesson, I have got some fantastic apps that will have you speaking a new language in no time. And even if you can't speak the language, I've got an app that'll speak it for you. Aren't smartphones great? Let's take a look at three awesome apps that can speak the languages of the world in this week's roundup. First, let's say you want to take the easy way out. All right, maybe that's unfair. We're all busy people. And when you get the opportunity to jump on a plane and visit a foreign land, you don't say to yourself, well, I don't know the language, so no thank you. You hop on that plane and you arm your device with one of Google's amazing apps called Google Translate. Translate has multiple uses that cover the bases when you're out and about. First, you'll select at the top what language you currently speak and what language you want to be translated to. Then you can use this box up top to either type in a word or a phrase that you want to be translated or the scribble option for using your own handwriting as a source. Just scribble the word in there and you're given the translated word in the language that you selected. If you'd rather save yourself the manual entry, you can tap the microphone and just speak the phrase. Where is the shoe store? When you stop speaking, Translate will automatically speak the translated phrase in the language that you selected. ¿Dónde está la tienda de zapatos? This mode is actually listening in both languages. So that person you're trying to communicate with can say what they need to say in their language and Translate will capture that audio and translate it back to you into your native tongue. Tapping that box brings the conversation mode into more of a full screen uh, mode so you can show each other the text as kind of a fallback method. It's a great translator tool. Now, finally, this camera button fires up the camera on your device and you can point your phone uh, at a sign or a block of text in that other language, in this case, Spanish. And it's going to actually translate that text into your preferred language in, in what you can see here, a magical way. The words literally transform inside the image. This is technology that Google bought not too long ago with the wildly popular WordLens app. Now it's integrated here inside Google Translate where it belongs. Google Translate is free and can be found in the Play Store right now. So... You want to step it up. You want to learn some languages. Well, Semper Learn Effortlessly is a way to brush up on essentials or broaden it out to learn more comprehensively as you progress. And it does this in a very cool way. That is, if you're okay with a little delay when you launch certain apps. Semper asks you to select the apps that it will work with and creates new shortcuts for your home screen. You can launch those apps using those new shortcuts and now, every time you launch Facebook, for example, a helpful micro-learning puzzle overlays the screen before launching the app. Solve the problem and you'll continue on into your app. You can set it up to work with your lock screen and again, solve a question when you turn on your device's screen in order to move on. You can always bypass that by just swiping up if you're in a hurry and now's you know, not a good time to learn. Activate the places add-on to have learning modules appear when your device is present in a particular location. And then finally, what about those language packs? Well, you can download a number of packs to your device that focus on different aspects of your language of choice. 
Think of the packs as kind of flashcard sets, many of which have been created by other users of Semper, though you will find plenty in there populated by Semper itself. Find the ones you like and just tap to download. Now your device is armed with those expanded sets. You can practice any pack from inside the app if you don't want to wait for app launches or device unlocks to do it. Just tap practice and you'll get started. The more you do a pack, the further you advance through it, opening up other words and phrases, and Semper keeps track of all your hits and your misses. All of that info is shown in the My Progress tab, showing which items are learned, how well you've answered over time, how you've done over the past seven days and beyond, and finally, how long it takes you to learn an item or register an answer. Semper is free with weekly to yearly subscription plans that grant you unlimited access to content as well as the option to create your own packs. Find it now in the Play Store. Now, this app almost needs no introduction at this point, and that's especially awesome if what you need is to learn a language because that speaks to its effectiveness. It's practically a fully featured language school. Duolingo continually nabs Google Play's editor's choice and best of the best picks year after year, and its users are incredibly vocal as to its effectiveness. When you launch Duolingo, you're asked which language you'd like to learn, and the list of supported languages is staggering. I'll go ahead and select Spanish for this review. You pick a daily goal, all of which are totally manageable, from casual at five minutes per day down to insane at 20 minutes per day. Duolingo is meant to make language learning fun and not overwhelm you with lessons that make you feel defeated. Each day, you'll be presented with new lessons to work on. You can opt out of that particular group of lessons if you think they are, you know, beneath your skill set. But for most of us, learning a brand new language we'll start that new lesson to kick things off. Here I'm presented with four pictures and sometimes words or phrases underneath of those images and a question at the top. I tap the answer that I feel is correct. When I do, Duolingo announces the proper pronunciation of that word. So not only do I get a visual lesson, but also an audible one. And that's how you begin the lesson. I hit check and hopefully I got it correct. And now as I step through the lesson, different challenges will emerge. I might be asked to translate a sentence or match the words to their direct meaning. This keeps the lesson interesting and a bit less predictable. And once I've completed all challenges, hopefully I scored well enough to meet my daily goal and continue onward. Progress can be saved to my profile for the future and if you switch devices. All of this completely free with no in-app purchases and no ads to view. It's pretty awesome. Find Duolingo in the Play Store right now. Duolingo is very addictive, I found, and a lot of fun the deeper you get into it. Obviously, what you saw there wasn't super challenging. That was at the beginning of a lesson, uh, but it definitely steps up as you progress, as it should. And I've kept Semper set to offer up challenges when I unlock my device. If you have any idea how many times you unlock your phone throughout the day, you'll quickly realize how fast you can learn language just by solving those problems every single time you do that. Uh, very helpful. Although Chris, who runs our teleprompter uh, here for this show, did announce to me that Duolingo is kind of lacking in the Asian language, uh, particularly Japanese, which is what he's looking for. So hopefully they add some new languages sometime soon. That'll help Chris out. All right. Before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. That is Braintree. Braintree is a perfect fit for this episode and for this show, for the viewers like you. Code for easy online payments. If you are a developer, you're building a mobile app, and you're searching for a simple payment solution, you should check out Braintree. Braintree V.0 SDK actually makes it easy to offer multiple mobile payment types. So you can start accepting PayPal, Apple Pay, Bitcoin, Venmo, cards, and now Android Pay, all with a single integration. It's simple, secure payments with code that you can integrate in minutes. And developers, you're taken care of here. You don't have to worry about taking days to integrate your payments. With Braintree, it's literally done in minutes. If you don't have time, you can actually give them a call and they'll help you handle the integration and uh, walk you through uh, the steps to do that. The Braintree code supports Android, iOS, and JavaScript clients with SDKs in seven languages, .NET, Node.js, Java, Perl, PHP, Python, and Ruby. And it's elegant. The code is clearly documented. It's 10 lines of in-app code and just super simple. Braintree gives you an easy way 
to accept multiple payment types with one integration. That's quick, knowledgeable developer support if you happen to have any questions. So you can start accepting Apple Pay, Android Pay, PayPal, Bitcoin, Venmo cards, and whatever's next, all with that single integration. It's the Braintree V.0 SDK, that one small snippet of code, and you're all set up in less than 10 minutes. To learn more and for your first $50,000 in transactions fee-free, go to braintreepayments.com slash arena. All right, up next, an app that will empower you to learn all about, well, almost everything. It's this week's Big Brain app. Now, if you like to learn stuff that you don't already know, well, chances are you've probably heard of Khan Academy. It's a nonprofit organization dedicated to sharing, quote, free world-class education for anyone, anywhere. And now we'll finally get that knowledge on our Android devices. Khan Academy is filled with bite-sized lectures, videos, all narrated by an instructor with visuals provided by way of a slideshow and Wacom tablet. Think of this as a one-on-one -on -one tutor session with the know-it-all breaking down complex topics in an easy-to-consume way. Khan Academy focuses primarily on STEM learning. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. And within the app, you can explore to any of Khan's course categories. From the categories you expect, like I already said, mathematics, there's science, also economics, computing, to categories that will help you prepare for your SATs, as well as your college admissions, and even more. Each course category provides a seemingly endless carousel of the many facets within that category. So for example, math begins with an early math group that you can drill down into things like geometry, then into videos that cover fractions of shapes and beyond. Then through the carousel of math, the blocks get progressively more complex, diving into multivariable calculus and probability and statistics. Each category contains a tree that makes it easy to find that facet of knowledge that you're looking to pick up and get to viewing. Now, tapping in launches the video, which is really the power of Khan Academy, each with a time-coded transcript that runs within the bottom half of the screen. That transcript scrolls along with the video as it plays, keeping you up to date at any moment. You can tap on that to jump to a point in the video. All videos are exhaustive in their scope, and you really feel like you're working with someone to help you understand the underlying meaning of that subject. Any video can also be added to your own list for viewing offline after the fact, though you'll want to switch download automatically to on to make sure that happens for you. From learning all about atoms, molecules, and ions, to analyzing the art of medieval Europe, Khan Academy has an extensive library of videos that will make you smarter. That is, if your brain is ready for it. You can find Khan Academy for free in the Play Store. Now, unfortunately, one category you won't find in Khan Academy at the moment is language. Though Khan Academy's founder, Sal Khan, has expressed interest in offering uh, those lessons at some point, once they can figure out how it can be done as effectively as the rest of the videos um, through Khan Academy. Lucky for you, I already gave you three apps today that'll get you started and train you up. So you're totally covered. Uh, you're welcome. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. You can always post those to the subreddit instead or also at androidapparena.reddit.com and you share them with me and the rest of the world by doing that. The show records live every Wednesday around 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight. That's at twit.tv slash live. And if you can't make the live taping, no worries. The show always appears later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page. You can find that show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.